knowing their hypocrisy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome for the meditation of January the 15, 2024, taken from Mark chapter 12, verse 13 and following. They sent to him some of the Pharisees and the Herodians to catch him in his words. When they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one. For you do not regard the person of the, 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 the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? He, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Only people can become so blinded and so stupid as to try and test God. The devils know God. They are rebellious against him. They would never test him. But yet they hate us and they blind us and sent us against God who made us. But the Lord sees in our hearts. So the next time that you approach God and think about God, remember that He sees inside of you, deeper in your conscience than even yourself. So if you pretend to twist His words or to take advantage of God in any way, all you're doing is just fooling yourselves. And the question is, where are you? Are you with those that want to test the Lord, that want to twist his words to say whatever is convenient for them and for people? Or are you with us who humbly accept that we are sinners, but try as much as we can to obey his commandments? The first leads to death, eternal, and condemnation. The second way leads to redemption. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.